What's up dudes and dudettes, my name is Byron, and today I'm going to be doing a review on a movie from 2006 that's based on a show that most of us like, and also based on the books by Mark Brown, and that would be Arthur's Missing Pal. So the plot is basically where Arthur does certain things during the, during the day, like eating breakfast with his family, and he and his friends throwing water balloons at each other for fun now here's something that I'm gonna talk about that, that happened in the film if you haven't seen it I don't want to spoil it it's a spoiler alert but if you have I'm gonna talk about it after DW was being a butthole to pal he suddenly took off and while Arthur was calling him for something he couldn't find pal anywhere in his house and it's up to him, his friends, and his family to find him in Elwood, in Elwood City. It took them a few days to find him because they couldn't find him anywhere. And I don't know if I can say this correctly, but Buster did come up with this thing to investigate certain things and ask people certain questions about when the last time they saw Pal and stuff like that. So that is basically the plot of Arthur's Missing Pal. What do I think of it? I thought it was a really decent film. Was the animation great? No, but I thought it was okay. Let me see. The, the plot was kind of similar to an episode from SpongeBob called Have You Seen the Snail? Yeah, do you remember, remember that one? I do. Um, the characters were fine. The voice actors did a really decent job. The music and songs they put in were really, really good. And everything else in the film was was actually really decent. I'm going to give this movie 7 out of 10 stars. Or even better. 6.5 or 6.5 out of 10 stars. I know some of you guys out there kind of hate it. and well, Guess what? I totally respect your opinion. I mean, I liked the show, but... I thought the movie was decent. Plus, when I was a kid, I used to rent that film from the library, and I used to watch it at home. I mean, I thought it was good as a kid, but nowadays I think it's like an okay film since, you know. Yeah. I might rewatch it when I get a chance to remember from my childhood. So that is my review on Arthur Smith and Powell. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, this is me, Byron, signing off with the sign of peace.